Hi, my name is Nate Matthew and I'm turning 22 this year. I'm a QS student. Previously, I've studied in KLT and I've graduated with a diploma cert. And currently, I'm pursuing my degree at UCTS. So today, I'm going to share to all of you on my experience of being a QS student in KLT. So, as a QS, to keep it short, you, you are a person who needs to handle and control the cost of the whole development. Other than that, you need to also be the middleman between the client and the contractor in managing the client's needs and requirements and also evaluating the works of the contractor done on site for monthly evaluation. As well, actually I have nothing much to say about this. It is because all our lecturers are talented. But personally, I enjoyed long class the most. So as a KS student, do you need to be very good in math? Mm, I won't say so, but at least you have a basic and strong foundation in calculating area, volume, mm, meter, length, number, etc. Then it will be sufficient. But if you encounter any problems in calculating uh, specific items, you may refer to your lecturer, they will be very happy. Same one, you will be learning more towards the introduction, uh, which is CMD, construction development, then you will be learning CP1, 2, 3, CP is for construction technology, and then you will be learning some engineering drawings, which is more towards AutoCAD, and then further you will be going on to calculation, which is building quantities 1, 2, and 3, and then after building calculation, you will be learning civil stuff like bridges, drains, roads and then construction management and law of contract and then more to building services you can go to the KLT website yeah, to search more on it so about the school fee for KS procure not a, if you are not a Sarawakian such as me, I'm a Sabahan so I need to pay 50% out of the whole fee so it took me around 9,000 and below, which is considered quite reasonable for this program. Is the Diploma Cert of QS being recognized in QLD? Yes, it is recognized. The program is accredited by MQA, Malaysian Qualification uh, Agency, and is recognized by the Board of Quantity Survey Malaysia, QSA. The reason why I chose Diploma over Foundation is that um, one, I think I'm a slow learner, so that's why I chose Diploma. Second, I think getting a cert, a Diploma cert is better than a Foundation is because Diploma for me is like um, studying the whole. Let's say if you choose QS, then I will be mainly focusing on QS for my diploma so this is like level one then when i go for my bachelor it's like level two we are staying the same scope but on different levels so for the environment of study in KLT, uh, for my personal opinion i think it's great and it's peaceful and it's quiet so to study it's not a problem Well, if you are one of the members of any of the clubs in our school, such as Leo Club or JCI, then there will be things that you need to do for the club. So besides JCI and Leo, there are a few more clubs, such as the sports clubs. Inside the sports club, there will be badminton, frisbee, basketball. Since we have a field and we have a basketball, basketball court in our school. So for those who like to play basketball, this is a great advantage for you. Conclusion, mm, I don't have any regrets taking QS as my future uh, profession. I can say that the reason why I chose QS is 
since my second industrial training program during my degree. Um, actually, I prefer the way of uh, QS working in a contractor firm. It's because you are not only tied up in the office to work, but you can also go to the site and do measurement and also talk to a lot of people. So when you talk, you can increase or enhance your sociability skills and also your communication skills. So all of these are important, um, not only towards your working environment, but also important for you to improve your skills as a person. So I think that's all. Thank you.